I must take this time to remind everybody watching, especially those in in-your-face wrestling management, as to why I, along with Blood Bunny, should still be the valid and current in-your-face wrestling tag team champions. You see, in 2009, I was not defeated, but stripped of my title for no reason at all. And then in 2012, we won the championships back. But that in no way makes up for the errors of the past. So today, the current champions, the Savage Wolves, are propagating an alternate timeline that neither I nor you should acknowledge nor recognize. And now in 2013, In Your Face Wrestling Management has decided to make a farce of the Coronation Cup, which I've been in the finals of before, and making a tag team tournament for the number one contendership for the In Your Face Wrestling Tag Team Championships that should still again be rightfully mine. Now I'm entering this tournament along with Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams. But there should be no reason for this. These five other teams don't deserve to be there. We should still be champions. But let's take a look at those other teams anyway, shall we? First we've got the good Chip Lollipop with good Lord Willing and Chip Stetson. You look like a reject circus freak and his handler. I'll let you guys decide which is which. Northern Fury with Vigo and Sergeant Fury. It's as if you're an 80s band that named yourselves after your own one-hit wonder. Team RPG, Ian Daniels and the Rickety Rocket. Don't bother coming, your 15 minutes are up. Then the Electric Dream Machine of Steve McKenzie and Guerra Loco. Untested, unproven, and unworthy. And then finally, one more team, which nobody even knows who are yet. How can In Your Face Wrestling even get behind a team that hides between anonymity and cowardice? Ladies and gentlemen, these facts are indisputable. The Tag Team Championship belongs right here with myself and Blood Money, making me, once again, the greatest tag team expert ever to step into the ring.